Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, back today with another vehicle that I purchased at a really good price that needs an engine, and engines are very expensive for it. So uh, I kind of like buying stuff like this and experimenting with different engines to see if I can make them work, if I can't find anything researching online and stuff with it that I can, you know, help other people out to save money because I'm too cheap to spend money on the correct engine for things. I did it with a Jeep Wrangler, it worked out with a caravan motor, and now I've got a 2013 Toyota Venza here that I'm going to uh, give a shot. Um, so the engine when you look up for this vehicle comes up as 2012-2013 Toyota Venza and Toyota Highlander only. It's a four-cylinder, 2.7 liter, uh, it's like a one ARFE engine or something like that. Um, and they're like $3,500 to $4,500 for used engine for this thing from what I looked up. So I started going on eBay, looking at photos of engines from this and other Toyota four-cylinder vehicles, Camrys, uh, stuff like that. I looked at the um, Scion TCs as well. And the engines look identical visually. Um, so... An engine, if you look online for a Camry or a Scion TC, you can find them for like fifteen, sixteen hundred bucks uh, from a junkyard, rather than thirty five hundred, four thousand dollars, forty five hundred dollars for the correct engine for the four cylinder Venza or four cylinder Highlander. So this is the engine out of it. Um, it's got the dual VVT on it, and you know, little four cylinder individual coils, typical uh, nowadays, and the engine that's in here is a 2.5 liter. So this is actually out of a 2011 Scion TC that I uh, found at a salvage yard called Wilbur Chupot in Buffalo, New York. So you go in there, you find something you want, and the engines are like 200, 250 bucks. Um, and the Scion TC engine was rated uh like i don't know it's pretty much the same horsepower and like seven foot pounds of torque difference to this it was 180 uh horse 173 foot pounds of torque where the toyota venza 2.7 liter was uh 181 horsepower 180 foot pounds of torque i looked up at the camrys as well where the engines looked pretty much identical on the camrys um but they were rated at like 160 horse now, the Venza motor to the uh, Scion TC engine, they were so close and they looked identical. You're not going to notice the power difference on the thing if, the, if, if it would work out. So um, I pulled the motor out of it. I'm kind of nervous with the engine, honestly. Everything seemed to go in, bolt up. Everything fit perfect. I swapped the intake manifold over. Uh, from the original Venza motor onto the Scion TC engine and then uh, I swapped the oil pan there was um, it's shaped slightly different just the lower oil pan not the whole aluminum upper oil pan just the, the tin lower um, it was slightly different for the all-wheel drive system that's on the Venza to clear the transfer case there was a motor mount bracket here that I swapped over all the holes on the front timing cover and everything were identical bolted up correctly to use the original engine mount bracket from the Venza motor onto the Scion TC engine. So that bolted right up. I used the original exhaust manifold and with um, catalytic converter from the Venza, obviously, and everything else from the Venza. So everything seemed to plug in, hook up beautifully, and I, like I'm super confident that the engine itself is going to work and run and everything, and I'm $250 into this thing rather than you know, $3,600, $4,600, whatever the heck you can find the used motors for. Um, so for an experiment, I, I decided it was worth the risk to try to uh, see if I could save some money and inform people because I couldn't find anything researching on the internet about if you can use the engine from one to the other. Everything only showed, you know, Toyota Venza and Highlander only. Uh, the original engine failed in this thing because... I found out when I was swapping the oil pan over, the oil pump has a plastic gear that runs it off the crank, and the plastic gear broke, blew apart, so the thing lost oil pressure and grenaded the motor. It was rod knocking and no oil pressure, obviously, and all that fun stuff. So, um, 
I've got it all together. It's in here. Uh, the car I pulled the engine out of wasn't crashed or anything, and it was in a U-pull yard, so I'm kind of nervous if the motor's even going to be good. Hopefully, whether it's good or bad, it at least starts so I can see if it does work in this to help save some other people money that might want to, you know, go to a salvage yard and pick up a uh, U-pull-it motor or, you know, have one of these or a Highlander that wants to buy a $1,600 Scion TC Camry motor instead of a $3,600 Venza Highlander motor. Um, as you can see, I just got it. It's going to be first startup. I just got everything in it and all that, but I didn't put the upper hose on. I didn't put the upper core support back in it just because if this thing doesn't work or if it is bad, there's, I'm not going to make sure that every little nut and bolt is in it yet until I know that it's going to run. Um, I'm hoping to God it does because it was not necessarily a lot of work, but it was just tedious. A lot of stuff was hard to get to because of the cowl and stuff like that. And I'm not the most flexible person in the world. Um, but this thing had 110,000 miles on the oil change sticker, the, the Scion that I pulled the engine out of. And uh, it just, it just, the car was not wrecked with too low miles. Something had to be wrong with it majorly. Um, hopefully it wasn't the engine, but I was willing to take the risk for the um you know for the experiment to save a bunch of money and see if it worked to help inform other people um so we're gonna see what happens um uh, see if this thing will start i got the battery all hooked back up come on baby wow <laughs> Heck yeah. So. Oh my gosh. And it runs amazing. Wow. I did not expect it. To start and run this well. If I'm being honest. I did expect it to work. But. I really didn't think it would start that easy. And I didn't think it would sound this good. Oh my gosh. That is excellent. So, there you go. I mean, there's your answer. You can pick one of these or a Highlander up and you don't want to spend a ton of money on an engine. Buy a 11 to 12 uh, Scion TC engine. It bolts right up. It works. Got to change a couple motor mounts in an oil pan. The flywheel was even the same. I measured all the bolts and everything. Because typically when I do an engine or I'm experiment with something, I use the original flywheel from the vehicle. Uh, I don't know why I didn't on this one. I measured it and I was like, ah, oh, send it. Uh, but wow. Yeah, so, like I said, you get one of these things cheap or Highlander cheap. Save the money and pick yourself up a Scion TC motor or go to a U-Pullet yard. And freaking grab one out of the u pull yard because they work. This is awesome. This is the second experiment I've done uh, as far as that type of thing goes in, in, in a little while. And like uh, the Jeep I did was a 08 Wrangler and motors were ridiculous for that. And nowhere said that caravan motors worked, but I went to the... The uh, U-Pull Yard pulled the motor for that thing and put it in one of my other videos, and it worked mint. My buddy that I, other buddy that I work with here, his his wife has been driving the thing for, I don't know, six, seven months now, eight months maybe. She loves it and hasn't had any problems with it. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about this. And, uh, yeah, I hope this helps some of you or one of you or any of you save some money. And if it doesn't, I was willing to take the chance to save myself the money. So, uh, keep wrenching and, heck, give things a try. Best way to find out is to try something yourself. And Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. This time it did. Last time it did. I've been lucky. Wrench on.